Hello, and welcome to this video from Zenitel Academy. In this video we will show you how to install and set up the VS operator. It is also recommended to download the manual which is available on Zenitel.com. But first, let us have a look at what the VS operator is, and how it works. The VS operator is a Windows-based call handler. It is linked to an intercom device, often a control room intercom, but any intercom device can be associated to the operator. Any action taken from the operator is acting on behalf of the associated intercom. Events on the intercom are shown graphically on the operator monitor. The VS operator is a server, client-based application. All clients connect to the server. There can be up to 70 clients in one system. The server communicates with an ICX AlphaCom, and supports multiple ICX AlphaComs as well. Here is an example showing a map, a call queue, some camera streams, and information about the established call. When there are calls coming in from the doors, they will be in the queue and we can choose which one to answer. The audio will be handled by the associated operator intercom, or SIP phone. The video stream related to the call point, is shown in the established call window. The icon on the map will change, to indicate where the call is coming from. It is also possible to make a call from the monitor. Either by clicking an intercom icon directly, or right-clicking and selecting, call, from the drop-down menu. In this menu other options can be added, such as, open door. The VS operator server must run on a Windows 10 PC, or a machine running Windows Server 2012 or newer. It must have .NET 4.6.2 or newer installed. It also requires SQL Server, or SQL Express. And we need the latest version of Microsoft SQL Management Studio. With the exception of the OS, all required software is free and can be safely downloaded from Microsoft. The clients must have Windows 8.1 or newer, and also here we need .NET 4.6.2 or newer. Once these requirements are met, we are ready to install the VS operator. In this video, we will have both the server and the client on the same computer. First we must download the latest version of the VS operator. This is always available from our wiki at wiki.zenitel.com. Navigate to the download section, jump to chapter 7, applications and tools, and expand the table. Here you will find the latest version of both the server and client software. Click on both download links and save them to your computer. It is recommended to always have the same version on the server and the clients. Unpack both zip files and then double click the VSOP setup server icon. Run the installation as normal. When the server is installed, do the same for the client application. To start the initial setup, launch the operator configuration tool by double clicking the icon. The very first thing to be done, is to create a new database. Write in a database name, and click, check database. Next click, create, followed by, save. There will be a warning telling us that we need to assign ownership in the SQL database. Start the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Connect. And navigate to Security, Logins, and double-click, NT Authority System. In the new window, select, User Mapping. Then select the database you created, and assign, DB Owner. Click OK. When it is finished executing, the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio can be closed. We now return to our server setup, and continue with the License Registration tab. There are two types of licenses, Basic and Enhanced. 
The license we install tells the system how many clients we can have online at the same time. There cannot be a mix of the basic and the enhanced license. Register your license by clicking the Register button. This opens a new window where you can choose how to activate your license. Activate via the internet by entering the serial number received after purchase. Under the Operator Server tab, we fill in the IP address of the ICX Alphacom, and which port it should connect to. The Maintenance tab lets us configure a time, and limits, for database cleanup. The Miscellaneous tab offers the possibility to customize the time format used for the logging. Save any changes made and start the VS Operator Server. When it shows server status, running, we can start the client application by double-clicking the Operator Client icon. After the client starts we can see in the lower right corner there is a cogwheel. When it is green it shows the client is online with the server. A yellow icon means there is no connection with the server. Clicking the cogwheel shows the server and client version, as well as the licenses installed. Clicking the arrow next to the cogwheel and selecting options will bring up a new window. Available languages are English and Czech. Other languages can be added. Contact alpha support at alpha support at zenitel.com to initiate the process. The IP address of the operator server must be entered here. This section is for configurating which intercom device that shall be the associated device. We can see who is the associated device, the operator intercom directory number and node number, in the lower left corner. This is visible at all times. Logging into the client as administrator opens it in configuration mode. The system configuration window has a main menu on the right. On the left we find our auto discovered and manually added devices, such as intercoms, SIP phones, video cameras, and remote control inputs and outputs. This location provides space for maps, where we can place icons for the devices. Behavior and details of the icon can be the find in the icon sets menu. There are some icon sets included by default. During configuration we can, whenever we want, switch to operational view to see how it looks like, and test our system. We will now show how to configure VS Operator, ending up with the solution demonstrated in the start of this video. We will start by adding our devices to the configurator. First we auto-discover the intercom stations and SIP phones configured in the ICX Alphacom. Click, Explore, and select, Explore Alphacom stations. Load, Nodes, and select the wanted node. Make sure all wanted devices are enabled, and click OK. Next we add some cameras. The cameras in the TCI V Plus stations are not automatically added, so we must add them manually. Click Add, and select IP Camera. Highlight the new device in the list and open the selected object menu. Give the camera a proper name. Preferably a name which makes it easy to recognize on the map. Choose the TCIV camera template, and enter the TCIV plus IP address in the host field. The TCIV template can be modified, to include a username and password. The camera stream can be tested, by dragging the camera into the preview field. Relate the camera to the TCIV Plus so it will show the stream automatically in the established call pane. Do the same with other intercoms that have an associated camera. The same applies if there are third-party cameras in the system. To add maps, select Map Pages from the menu. Click Add, give your map a proper name, and then click Load Image. 
Browse to your map, and click OK after your selection. Drag the map into the map configuration area. Place devices on the map by dragging them from the list on the left and onto the map. After the icons are placed on the map, they can be adjusted in many ways. Select one icon as the template, then select others to adjust, using the control key and click. To make sure all have the same size. Aligned on the same row. And in the same column. The caption on the icons can also be changed. Select a device in the list, and click Selected Object in the menu. Uncheck the Use Default Font text box, and change the caption as wanted. Size, Color, Placement. To make all icons have the same font, select one as the template, and then using the Control key, click the rest, and finally click the Unify Text button. When all icons are placed it is time to create our layout. It is highly recommended to sketch out the layout before starting. A good idea is to use PowerPoint for this, in order to get an idea how it looks before starting. Select Layout Definitions from the menu and click Add. Choose an empty layout. Give the layout a proper name. Right-click the Layout field and select Form. Adjust the form size. Split the form into panels by right-clicking and selecting Horizontal Split Panel and Vertical Split Panel. Further divide the panels, so you have all the fields you need. Right-click into each panel and select the wanted function. An established call pane where details on the current call are shown. A call request list pane for showing the call queue. Grid view pane for showing live camera streams. Map view pane to show maps with icons. For every function, there are extra settings that can be configured. Define a default map. Set the video grid layout. Enable video panel for established calls. Click OK and go to operational view to see how it looks. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our web pages at zenitel.com and our wiki pages at wiki.zenitel.com.